really briefly explain it as we just watch a nice 3D rendition of this boulder. So we start with those green lines on the wall. They have to be in a controlled, stable position be able to move off. So there is the start, each green line indicating a limb that the athletes begin on. They then travel left across the wall towards that zone hold. That will be the first point scoring opportunity for them. And then there is the top, the final hold on the wall. They have to match it with both hands, control it. Now we're into the, the big, big hitters. This is the matchup that I want to see. Fernand's been hyping this moment all day, and he's right because Natalia versus Yanya, I think we're going to watch replay throughout this season, both on the lead wall and the boulder wall. Yeah. Struggling with this start. Yeah, most athletes aren't looking at the right wall, so you really do disadvantage yourself. It's a very high jump. If you can't tell, this first volume is above Natalia's hip height, nearly at her chest height, so to jump to your chest and then try to jump upwards from that is a massive exertion. Unfortunately, Natalia is not figuring out another way to solve this. She nearly did hold that red macro as a pinch, which is somewhat terrifying. But fortunately, Natalia is not one of the taller climbers. Futaba was able to make this jump, but Natalia has to jump so much higher. Oh, she finds the right wall. There we are. I'm sure she'll be kicking herself a little bit for that mix-up, but no time for that. She needs to get on and send this boulder. Showing her experience, though, to, to go. She's almost like she changed her mind mid-movement there to go to that right wall. So a minute and a half gone for her. She now needs to make progress because she's given herself a little less time to work this out, but she will. She's not an athlete to be down on herself. She's experienced enough to know that you have to pick up, forget what's happened just focus on the moment. Yeah, she is, I wouldn't say she's the oldest athlete, but she has got the experience, or at least she, she makes use of it. Comp wisdom, let's Comp call it. Comp wisdom. So Natalia palming up with the right hand, now pressing to get around that corner. So awkward Finds into the it. zone. Such awareness there to come around the corner, fantastic. And she will get points for that. And now, really, the crux sequence to this, although it hasn't felt like it. Great lock off on the right shoulder there. She has got this left hand a good way. It does look quite hopeful for the last move. Natalia Grossman attempts to get a foot up on that half moon volume, chooses the left. Now she'll press, she goes for the jump. Whoa, such an intense move there. You could see as she stretches her left arm out, she couldn't get the right foot up, so she had to lift the left foot exceptionally high, higher than you wanted, and you stretch your shoulder so far as you try to get this left foot up. And when you do that, you really deactivate all the muscles in your back and the big latorious muscle down the side of your body. And it's so much harder to come back after that. Hopefully this next time she can arrange herself a little bit better. It's very possible she can put the foot exactly where she put it before and go again. Maybe she'll find another way to put the foot. Let's see. She's got 50 seconds to do it. It took her a while to get to that position in the first place, and Natalia Grossman is running out of time. Will she have figured it out? Can she do it quicker? Now she knows the sequences. She's certainly moving better. Fantastic pull through there. You can see she switches the right hand, drops the hips down, and then moves the feet. It's very cool to watch. But shaking with the tension. 27 seconds on the clock, it will be enough time. She knows what has to be done here, but this is likely to be the last shot. 20 seconds. Crowd pushing her on now. She gets set up once again. Will she go with the right hand? Chooses the same beater. Up she goes and just pops off that left foot. Fortunately, she knew she needed more strength than that left arm, and so she doesn't put her foot up at the same angle. Athlete out on stage. Let's have a look. At boulder number two, and this wonderful 3D render that we have available to us. You can see how overhanging that wall is. Starting down low, the start hold again indicated by the blue circle and green lines for each limb. And then this first move, it's either going to be a throw to the right. We think the athletes might try some other more static methods, perhaps lay backing that initial volume. The zone, that big grey volume. And then coming out all the way to the top. Natalia Grossman will join us on stage. There she is. She's just 20, 162 centimetres and 71%
tops in finals. Sally Graceman not making the Olympics. Wow. This that time is around. A display of power there. I don't know if you saw the left arm pushing. I wonder what's, what she can bench press with that, because that was very impressive. <laughs> we'll ask her later on. Wanted to change it up there. Go double hand. She thought the, the left hand push does make it harder to bring your left foot up, and you're not going anywhere unless you get that left foot up. So it looks like she is going for the dub again. Back to the push. Yeah, using that that is that that volume there. We can see that the starting hold. That's what she's pushing off against. Yeah, the inside of this volume where she can get that angle to throw her hips to the left and therefore have what is called the directional force on this hold. All that means is you're pulling on it in the right direction. So Natalia eyes it up again and loses. Too much thinking there, thinking about where she's going to go, what she's going to grab, is she going to push? Forgot she has her right foot, there it goes. It's been a frantic pace so far, this women's final. Not really a chance for them to settle in. A series of moves designed just to throw them off a little bit a little bit more than a little. <laughs> yeah. They're really designed to throw them off, and we've got a lot more coming. Makes the double paddle work. Excellent. And casually up to the next hold, she'll be very relaxed. Went to put a knee bar in and realized she has a big hole in her knee, so I'll just put a side of my knee in. Let's see now. She just, just comes the into the intense part of this climb. Looking quite comfortable on that left hand. Yeah, you'll notice a few of the athletes have got a war wound on their left leg from an earlier semi-finals problem. And now, though, she's pressing upwards. We saw Futaba Ito get to this stage. What can Natalia do? Looking more confident, standing up, left hand pressing into the top. Needs the match to get the points and does head back to the crowd. A first top for Natalia Grossman, and that will get her right up the leaderboard into second position. But first position until Yanya comes out. Until. Check out until. this boulder. There's our 3D rendition. So this is what may be the new exciting boulder, but we do theorize that they are going to go for the, the intentional method. This very exciting hold to stand on, just a nubbin, a little thumb sticking out. You put your toe on and then coming across in here. And this last move should be pretty exciting to watch. Very Natalia dynamic. Grossman out on stage. What can she do with this boulder? Nice to see lots of tops. Natalia will be looking to cement her position. Very casual on these first volumes. They are not at a good angle, but she just commits, stands very happy, going for the toe match. Let's see now the thoughts in her head, trying to find somewhere to position the shoulders. Decides against the toe match. Now we're going down so hard to keep the hips into the wall right now. Makes it work, though. Very, very impressive, but now we've got the same toe match, a bit easier, makes it work. Natalia Grossman setting up for the final section of this boulder. Such balance there, that left foot high up on the wall. And now comes into this side pull, fingers dancing across, gets a palm on, now needs to match, looks upwards at the jug. She will need a big jump, it's going to be a long way for her as well. Yep. Another moment to rest, finding every opportunity. A little fight there with the volume just to get that shoulder in. A little bit more how she wanted. Ready for the jump. Not a bother for Natalia Grossman. Now sticks it and it should be over. Needs the match, gets it. Easy work for Natalia. With two and a half minutes left on the clock. She'll remain up on that top spot of the podium. So, next boulder. Let's have a look at it. And what a thing of beauty this is. Well, how many volumes are stacked it's, up uh, there? It's five now, I believe. Five We did think volumes. it was four, but it is actually five. So the start holds, they are pretty good. And then you make a dynamic move up to this left hand. And then somewhat of a static campus into the next, then big dyno towards the zone. And then the top is no giveaway either. I'm with Danan Marky here in the commentary box. What an evening we're having. Privileged to watch these guys throwing themselves at the wall. Two athletes to go. 
two athletes to go in such an intense competition. And I'm very excited because we have not seen this boulder top yet. Natalia Grossman cruising through these first moves. Not a bother for her. Absolute power there. Now let's see, can she make the jump? Yes. Ah. First time. How do you spot that first time? Natalia on for the flash attempt. Grabs it with perfect precision. Now coming through. The top match is exceptionally intense. The shoulder sh Gaston is slopey. Can she get that left foot up? She does and makes the match. Amazing effort from Natalia Grossman. A flash for her. Made it look effortless. Spotted the drop down move, the catch around the corner, put it all together. That can just sort of summarize her entire show tonight. Silver for her. Natalia, an all round athlete. Well, that is our boulder, a lovely free day rendition of it. That's the start, and you have to start where the blue lines indicate one limb on each hold. And then as we continue upwards towards the purple volumes, the zone, that's the first scoring opportunity. You have to control that. And then finally, there's the top in a blue circle. And that smile that has become her calling card. Yeah, she always looks like she's having a great time out she there. She does, doesn't she? Well, I think she is having a great time out there. Towel, just to make sure her feet aren't dirty. Oh, there is the adjustment with the left hand. Gets a great pinch and then uses the heel. And there is a sort of, there's a chalked up undercling, but it's unnecessary. You have to go all the way up to the top of it. And let's see her mantling skills. Has she been doing the press-ups? Yes, she has, <laughs> easily up into the left. And brings the right foot up and underneath. Easy. Controls it nicely at the top, matches. And Oriane Berton is leading the way due to the position. Our next bowler, I think he's beautifully looking. That slab is three degrees leaning backwards. So off vertical. Starting down there on those dish shaped holds, and it's a running start to get mm. established. Yeah, you can't just step off the ground. There's the zone. Needed to press down on that later on. And the top, another half moon dish. And quite a big moon. I wonder exactly. if she's going to do Brooks method to start. Well, they would have looked at it together. No, she did the, the other one. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Yeah, sometimes mm. teammates sort of swap beta with each other more than other people, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. All right, Natalia, how techy is she feeling today? Out nice. she comes to that half moon and the right foot up. Come on, Natalia. Looking to get stood up, and that's the problem. You can't see it. Oh, but somehow, instinctively, oh, nice. she finds it. Natalia, if she can flash this, we'll be right up there. Yeah, that's a zone. Half the job done. Now she needs to finish it off. That's funny. She, she touched it. And, and definitely used it, but that was not necessary for her to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the game, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah. Undercling up, and this is the awkward jump. It's not far, but it is uncomfortable. Only one foot up. <gasps> Left hand, right hand. Great work from Natalia. That was a victory here this evening. And Natalia Grossman. That's on the left, a running start. Going all the way to the right around that corner. Difficult blind start. And there's the zone hold up top. That is a very modern style boulder, the run and jump into the grey hold. Out towards the right. And then up to the zone. And that's a tricky little blocked hold up there underneath the triangles. Looks out, a smile. How will she read this sequence? So decorated already with medals. We talked about it earlier, but she just keeps adding to them in every competition. I hear Team USA in the background cheering her on. Right, up she goes. No toe hook. Into the zone. Okay, so this is the potential big spin move. Oh, just like Brooke. Oh, statically up. 
and then the cut, and then just hanging around, chalking up. Why not? Ah, oh, and a campus. <laughs> one arm campus up. Outrageous. So strong. <laughs> Went for it. Missed it. Went again. <gasps> no. It's not a beta problem. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are our scores. Kicks back once more. Comes out. Gets it this time. Same method so far. It's big lock off to the reach. So strong. Chalks up, keeping tension. The weight through her right foot, and then this is the <laughs> spot. Oh. <laughs> That's such a cool. Did, move. Does she get extra points for that? She should do. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right now she rests again, which is smart because this is powerful. She's trying to do it statically. It, which? <gasps> oh my goodness! How? Whoa! <laughs> creeps her fingers <laughs> over. <laughs> Look, it doesn't look as powerful that, but that has all the power to do it that slowly. That was incredible. Well, Natalia Grossman leaves the stage. Two tops, one zone. Stasha Gale hangs in there. Two tops, one zone, and it's the. Got a degree in engineering. It's the least I can do is do some addition here. <laughs> <laughs> that is our fourth and final boulder. Big red volumes throughout. Starts down there, and look, this is an upside down style boulder. Yet, yet another inverted start boulder. We've seen a few this weekend. We have the men earlier on. So you start feet up, a lead with the feet, and you eventually turn around to be climbing the right way. Balls back in Natalia's court. <laughs> the drama. <laughs> Natalia, though, we've seen her. She is still fresh, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, after that. One arm campus move she did twice on the last boulder. Oh. Oh, now she, oh different. Oh. Slightly different. So, this is what I said to the root says can you drop down and go up again? Now, but it's a very powerful move to do it like this, Whoa. which she does. Turns around. I mean, she had the power to burn. There's no other way she could have done that otherwise. I, yeah, for sure. That's incredible. I didn't think anyone would actually try it that way. Turns and flicks. Natalia rests, making it once again look oh. easy. Wait, she needs her other hand here. Oh, yeah, so slightly. Maybe bit. misread this. Backwards. This is going to be awkward to get herself out of this position. Oh. Can she match it? Of course she can. No problem. Yeah. Why I'll, did we doubt? I don't know. I'll, I'll be quiet. She <laughs> makes the match <laughs> easy. Come on, Natalia. Up with the left. Now, don't make us all nervous, Natalia. Into it statically, please. Oh, she's looking for the pop, isn't she? Reaches up statically, left nice. foot, and that is the gold medal for Natalia Amazing. Grossman. <laughs> Finishes it off perfectly for her. Four out of four. And she will walk away with the gold. Really stamping themselves. And Yanya Garnbrett not competing this weekend. She won in Maringin, but Oriane in second place. Brooke in third, and there is Natalia in first position. Wonderful from her, our top three. Standing on top of the world at the moment here in Seoul, South Korea. Let's have a look at our starting list today. Changing angles, Boulder. Dan, walk us through this. This looks gnarly. Well, let's have a good see how they go about this start. It is, the holes that they're going to are quite far away, so it's most likely that the method through this section will be dynamic. But you can see here on the zone and further past the zone, these holes are very, very slopey. There are a couple of st stalled attempts from Miho and Camilla. The crowd gets lulled into a bit of a sense of what's gonna happen and hoping to repeat what she managed to do then. Great control. There we there. go. I think she's smart. She's even having a bit of a, yes, I got that move done. Just sort of a bit of relief, maybe. Uh, we've seen athletes, two athletes so far, fail on this section. Natalia, though, known for being more powerful. Can she continue through? Just looking a little more comfortable on the left foot, but I, yes. Grabs it, and there she finds her way to the top. Natalia Grossman getting that done in only four attempts. We got brought in very quickly. Now we'll have a look back at this boulder. 
There we are. There are some foot jibs here to stand on, so you're not relying just on the friction of the volume. And then the zone, you can see all there. It is exceptionally poor. Not easy to hold on to. And then the top as well, the angle. Just behind. Oh. Slightly more accurately. All right, Natalia Grossman sitting in fourth based on attempts only. As we saw Boulder 1 stealing lots of tries in lots of different places. Yeah, mm -hmm. Natalia Grossman will be definitely dialed in looking for a flash here. Now let's see, finds the double Gaston. This is the section, if the athletes made it through, they were quite positive at getting a top. Now Natalia sinking down is, is making it through this section. Doesn't use the compression that we saw, is going straight to the zone. She's just <laughs> readjusting for the left foot, but looking quite comfortable here. In this section where everyone's had to take a second to think, where is she going to put the feet? Realizing it's quite hard to hold once you release that foot. Ooh. Makes it stick. Wow. So here we are setting up for the next boulder. Now we have a full on slab. Not a lot of holes in the wall. Essentially, you could break this thing down into two main movements. It is a running start. This first hold, incredibly bad. So you have to be really composed and balanced on your feet. And then across onto these two blue dishes, which you must mantle in order to reach the top. Trickles in. Crowd, though, got her back on her feet. Now she does establish on the start. Just to figure her way through the rest of this boulder. this wind up oh yes wonderfully done very very good she gave just, look she at just this. hanging she's just hanging in space natalia grossman such a great display of strength this hold is very bad as she mantles up now let's see can she get herself close enough to the wall to get that other hand up it looks like it thumb press to match Natalia Grossman. We out of the mix if we see zones from the other climbers. Now, the steepest part of the wall, we've already asked so much of these women and now we're giving them power. Very much so. And this is thinking how much climbing they've done in the last two days. Now we are putting them on the steepest part of the wall, making use of those big muscles in the arms down the side of the body but they get tired. What can, Natalia can put herself onto the top of the podium with a fourth top here. A zone in only a couple of tries. Comfortable through yes, the first section. My goodness. Natalia Grossman, arms bent, really able to lift her own body weight. Now has to do some particularly difficult moves. Yes, not even a swing out. The body control here. Dan, and I think this is going to be a flash. She's got gold on the line. Can she keep putting this string of wins together? Natalia Grossman. Yes! There it is. Natalia Grossman is going to take gold in Salt Lake City. The home crowd loves it. They saw it last year, and they are treated to it again here. Natalia Grossman absolutely putting together an unbelievable final round. Well-deserved gold medal. Didn't come into finals in the top spot. Didn't need to be. All right, there it is. Your last look, Natalia Grossman, four tops in nine attempts. Brooke Rabatou, four zones, three tops, just ahead of Miho Nanaka, four zones and three tops in nine. Jesse Piltz with an inspired finish. Francesca Sterer and Camila Moroni rounding out your top six. Excellent climbing from all of these finalists. Uh, the boulders are definitely that. This is a super cool feature. We've got a 3D look at the boulder. Women's number one starting on the slab like their semifinals round. You start over here and have to work your way through these volumes to the other volume. Kind of pressy, footwork intensive. 
have to come into that small crimp to get up into the zone. And then there's a couple things you can do here. You can go with your hand down to the wall first and then spring your foot over to the egg or go up higher for the women. Yeah, she's been doing nothing but winning lately. <laughs> yeah. And Definitely been doing a good job at that. Just progressing so well. You see, I mean, it's the nice. The first boulder they come to after their preview, it's fresh in their mind and just no hesitation. One, two into the heel hook. And I love the way she turned that corner, just twisting mm -hmm. the foot around. Really nice use of the heel yeah. hook there Precise. to make sure she's getting into the zone nicely. Lots of twisting, lots of like really, <laughs> really aligned. Yeah. She's being... You know, and we were talking a lot during semifinals how quickly she gets on the wall and that's without seeing the boulder so no surprise at all yeah. that she hopped right on so having already oh that's the other method there. yeah here as well just that slip how quickly she picked the brush up but that moment there take a breath yep uh, remember that's, what you're capable of that was the key moment there that she needed to do to hopefully figure out this boulder but yeah i mean you know i feel like i heard yanya talk about this a lot when you're just winning, 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 doing so well, not falling so much, you get so used to that. So then when it starts to happen, it's hard not to get a bit flustered. So you kind of have to take a step back and remember that you need to center yourself and focus on the climbing and not worry about the pressure that might be around you. And falling on boulders shakes you when you're not used to falling on boulders. And they're yeah, a little more careful on good. the swap. Nicely done. And then just Oh, Needs man. to bring that foot up, both feet up a little bit more. Looks like she's in a good position. Should really good hip mobility. There. Carefully now. Nicely done. Even Natalia there, she closed her eyes. Great climbing from Natalia Grossman. Six oh yeah. Swings at Boulder one, given that they're, it's about to get tricky, and we'll get a look at Boulder number two. And this boulder very different on it. A steeper angle. You have that start that's an undercling, and you're going to kind of put your left foot on. I, I, I sense some women will try to toe hook, but you don't really need it as you jump to the next hold, kind of get into a shouldery motion. There's a knee bar involved and you want to press into the zone and then actually you can face out to the crowd to get into the press. Front of the pads have a little bit of carpet so you can kind of brush your feet off, but over the years they've definitely, you know, retained a bit more chalk. So having the towel to kind of wipe your shoes off is really nice as Natalia jumps right into the Women's number two boulder. Oh, and just jumps into the press. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little dynamic there. She's gonna get that same. She is really comfortable in, shoulder. in pressy positions. You see, as she just quickly extends herself all the way up into them, without a second guess. Just being very measured here, making sure that she. She's is comfortable. To, uh, yeah. And Get comfortable right is not up. really the right word yeah. for this move. <laughs> as comfortable as one can be. Ooh, it looked like she was about to maybe try to hop up into it for a second. Might readjust her feet a bit more. There we go. Yeah, no, drop it, knee after drop double knee. Double <laughs> drop knees. But even... Yeah, she doesn't look like she's made a decision even to stand up out of this. And, I mean, you know that that right side of this wall is getting in your way it's pushing you out from the wall it's angled so you know that it's very precarious just until you have real purchase and again three fingers but managing to come through trying to inch her way to the top hold so she doesn't have to jump too much able to kind and of stack with the one hand and just come right in with the uh, right hand <laughs> almost said left that wouldn't have made sense Cross, and then you're going to catch those two pink egg boulders in some orientation. There's many different ways you could do it. And the move to the zone isn't really much of a move. You're just kind of standing and jumping up into it, making sure you avoid going past that black tape. You can't use the arete at all. And then you just kind of set up. So it's likely every woman will get to the zone on their first attempt. So it really comes down to how well can you get through these coordination moves in the least amount of tries. Oh, and that, I love that look from this side looking in because it shows you what is actually involved in sticking those two. And you see Natalia nice. with a just a little Throwing hop. Throwing the feet up right away. Yeah, this shows you that 
You have See? to get quite far, Ooh, yeah, really and a little wobble. hesitation. More times even, and then maybe switch to something else if it doesn't work, but it does seem like it's something that she can make happen. And more secure in the feet. You saw her really like trip and stumble the first two times. So getting that right foot a little even, a little farther over to maybe help propel. I can't stop leaning in I know my we're chair. Both <laughs> <laughs> Megan is leaning like 45 degrees. I'm leaning about 20. Oh, we're following the tie end. What is this? And into a screw hole, which is always in play. The screw holes on the volumes are in play. Can Beautiful she unwind? Movement. I think she can. Natalia oh. Grossman is going to go slow and steady. My goodness. Nicely done by Natalia Grossman. Wow, that was really cool. Quickest is going to come out on top of this World Cup. And I, I love it. I love every aspect. <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll, we'll have a, a look at the last boulder. There's a lot going on on this boulder. Yes, very much so. So you're going to start and you're going to have to jump into this pocket and face the crowd, spin all the way around to come into that crimp next to them, next to the pocket, and then into the zone. And then you're going to go right hand and jump into the left hand shoulder. So another shouldery move. Natalia Grossman, I'm just going to say that at this point, needs a top. Yeah, definitely needs a top here. Definitely a boulder that would suit her skill set. Nicely going to that pocket static by using her feet, making sure she gets her feet out left to the volumes early and kind of just like locking off. We've talked about her a lot, just really being able to climb carefully uh -huh. and does that the path so of well. Resistance, highest percentage of staying on, setting up with her hips to go slow here. Now she'll just have to pop into this Gaston and catch it high. Yes, Nicely. she does. Natalia Grossman has got her legs back under her. This is really the last difficult move. You have to go into this pretty bad crimp that has some slippery texture. So you're hunting for feet to the right. But then she'll get into a pretty good crimp. Oh, the focus here. One hand, but she needs two. That is a top from Natalia Grossman. A flash of boulder number four to put her in metal contention. Natalia Grossman Another gold medal. Four tops in 10 attempts. Miho Nanaka just, just shy. A top would have put her in the gold medal spot. She's going to end up in silver just ahead of Brooke Rabatu. And then Futaba Ito in fourth. Cheyun Sao in fifth. And Ayala Karim in sixth place. What a final. The crowd definitely giving them that love. The sport's getting treated more seriously. People are training for it at a younger age, and this is new. We aren't seeing this, and now there's a shift towards. Absolutely. Well, talk us through this first boulder. This is our lovely 3D rendition of it. What have we got in store for us? Well, here you can see a good start into a pocket. Looks like we might get a 360 figure four, something interesting, and then a cross into the zone. And I'm quite excited for this black, this black hole down left. You have to paste on the wall completely. That top left pink hole has been switched. She's certainly on form. She won in Salt Lake twice. She does look so composed and casual when she climbs. Oh, using her own wrist there to pull herself up. That is some advanced technique there. It's Micro beta. Is it does way. help though, doesn't it? It's, it's oh, yes. easier than a one armor. Far easier, far easier. It is just uh, a staggered pull up in some ways. I wonder if Natalia had spotted that before. It was in a moment thing. She's doing well, matches the pink hole. Now having to work as she pushes up. Slightly different method from Miho, who went directly. Natalia using those, that pink, both the pink holds. And well, the record is still alive to Natalia Grossman, flashes at boulder number one. So that is our top six, which allows us to look at the leaderboard. Natalia Grossman with that flash leading the way. Miho Nanaka also got a flash, but due to count back, that's why she's in second. Hannah Moll in third, another flash, so three flashes for the top three. We were looking at the boulder from below. It is very powerful, very, very difficult. I didn't 
Everyone's going to assume Natalia will flash it, but I thought the rest of the athletes would be having a difficult time. But it was amazing to see how they utilized other methods, other skills to get through. Well, here is boulder number two. More slabby, this one. Involves going from right to left. And what were your impressions of this? Uh, well, the first thing to note that it has been changed uh, a bit from the uh, current 3D graphic that we're all watching. Neither has Hannah Moyle. Obviously, there will be a count back, but Natalia does not have much room for error right now. No, she doesn't. Hannah close behind her. Natalia treading very carefully here. And going back, dropping down, smart climbing. She wants to do this first time. There's nothing wrong with going backwards. Making that foot match in that lower position very difficult and powerful. Has the friction on that left hand to use it. Yeah, that foot jump kind of a move works well when the holds are bigger than that. When they're that small, it's so risky. So, so risky. Right thumb scragging on that hold. Oh, Natalia Grossman goes down place and the record to flash the whole comp that goes as well. But I don't think we're ever really, really thinking that would happen, but it would have been great. The root setters will be happy with that. So Natalia pulls onto her second go. Two minutes, 42 on the clock. Makes Hannah Moore's flash of this look even more impressive. Very, very impressive. But an athlete who's so good at using all her limbs in coordination. I was very much expecting her to see, expecting to see something impressive on this boulder. So Natalie clawing her way upwards and gets the top. Hannah Moyle is leading the way with two tops out of two. Her and first final should be very, very excited today. Natalia Grossman and Miho Nanaka making up our podium so far. There's a lot of options, but I would say the, the method is quite straightforward and it's more power and difficulty focused. At the start, you kind of jump into this bicycle position, which is actually high risk. You have to hit that toe hook first time, and then you have some powerful moves in between. And then around the zone, that's where I think we might start to see a bit of a mix-up if different athletes are choosing different methods. And then a big throw to the finish. A lot of athletes out there. I mean, obviously all the athletes are trying hard, but she can find a different level of suffering almost out there on the wall. Beautifully put, Matt. Beautifully <laughs> put. So, left hand up. Quick work at the moment. High right heel to chalk up. And Natalia has such composure and such ability to think about different methods on this angle and style of climbing. She really does show her full skill set here. Having to work now, though, and this is the big move towards the left. Gets it easily. She's in second at the moment. This will jump her up. Let's see. Up she goes. Holds the swing and another top. So, a confirmation of the leaderboard. Natalia Grossman, Hannah Moyle, Miho Nanaka are our top three. So, this is where it all comes to a four. Boulder number four. I do think this could really split up the number of attempts that athletes are taking on the climbs because this first section is very high risk. You stand into this double press and then a dynamic move towards the zone. Triple clutch is the intended method. And again, another one of those very difficult, bring your hips up through the two. Can get another gold here tonight. She's got silver, she won't want that. How quickly can she work this out? There you go, that's what she needs to do down on the bottom right. Oh, and she slips! Potentially her final attempt for that gold medal position. Hannah Moore would <laughs> never have been on the edge of her seat more. Yeah, Hannah will be watching this, and I'm sure she'll be supporting Natalia, but a gold medal is on the line, and this time Natalia makes the right hand stick, chalks up. Still possible here for this gold. Gets the left, she reads it exactly as it should be, comes the thumb in, this is where Miho had problems, no such problems for Natalia, pressing with the palm, and now it's looking awkward, she's a long way to the left. Foot slowly, slowly, uses the inside sloper, then switches to the outside, one move away, Natalia Grossman tops out, and we'll wait for confirmation, and there it is, Natalia Grossman. Well, that's the confirmation. Natalia Grossman with four tops and six attempts takes gold medal. Hannah Moyle from Team Germany is in second. 
Jelu Lau from China in third. More medals to her collection in the next couple of comps. For the women, they chose mainly. Well, this is our first boulder as we look at this 3D diagram of it. Starts down there. Each green line indicates a different limb you have to start on. So three limbs on the right, one on the left. It's up to you which limb you choose. You go out left towards a fairly big jug, and then there is a hideous move in the middle, crossing through towards the zone. The top, there it is. No feet, as you'll notice. So potential for a big swing and a miss. Up. And you'll notice that smile on her face. Always present. She loves climbing and uses that smile just to hype herself up. Positive attitude as she goes upwards. So an Italian matching on that hold. Here we are. There's the hang and the chalk up. So she hangs off again. Similar style to Sheon So. But that right foot on a dual tex. Really mixing it up here. Good with that right heel, though, to drive her body left into this poor pocket, just that she could get under it and make it work. That was very impressive. Yeah, she was upside down there. Had it almost stood in her own hand to get through that move. So right foot twisted in the pocket, locking off again. This is Natalia's flash attempt. First go. Gets it, holds it for a sec. Will look to drop flag her feet. And that is a flash for Natalia Grossman. And that is boulder number two in the background. So, Natalia Grossman in first position. Cheon So, second. Miho Nanaka, Hannah Moyle, Futaba Ito, and then Saki Kikuchi not managing a top, but a zone for her. So you start off with this coordination triple dyno. You stop in the middle on that blue curved hold on the dual textured giant yellow volume. There's the start. And there the jump begins. You fling yourself to the right. One, two, three, paddling upwards towards that hold. Next one, crimpy on the zone. There's two crimps and they're pretty vicious. Dropping down next and then another swing for the top. That is boulder number two. I think that Hannah flashed it and she'll be wanting to get this done. This is an important moment. And she's staticed it, held it for a moment, brings the left foot up high. This is very dangerous stuff, right up. And now she starts to crank upwards towards the blue hold, and then she's on a little bit of a safety point here. Very impressive there. You could see her fight for that. I could almost imagine that Anna Moore was in her eyes, that she's not letting that athlete get ahead of her. So, Natalia, though, still needs to keep it together. That left crimp is awful. Right hand swinging for a sec. I thought she was off there. Matches, and then she should be able to get the top, but pops her feet. Juggling with the arms, brings the right foot up again. And I tell you what, that was a fight. But Natalia Grossman, I mean, that's what champions are made for, to push through those moments. Exactly. So those are the results. Natalia Grossman leading the way. Hannah Mon second, Sheon So third. Miho Nanaka, Futaba Ito, and Saki Kikuchi. With the top, balancey start and double dyno on volumes to finish. And there's a bit of a sting in the tail with this one, but we'll get to that one in a sec. So you start off left, throw yourself into the corner, palming on those starting holds, and then you turn to face right. And it's a run or possibly a pad across towards those volumes and the zone hold. And then the top, it's a sloper and there are no feet. Crimping you with height. This may be the answer why we saw Saki Kikuchi doing that running jump at the end. So Natalia pushing up, better from her. I don't think she'll have a problem or less of a problem next time. Look at that, that toe scrub down the bottom, getting stood up, and then watch this right foot, as much rubber as possible. She goes for the more horizontal method, but drops back down. She'll want to readjust that left foot. That's why she's doing it, and you can see bumping in again, which means she can move her right foot further out. Oh, hello, into the zone very quickly for Natalia. And now, <laughs> yeah, fair play. So one move to the top now, don't drop it. She double matches it. And I think Natalia Grossman is showboating here on boulder number three. So Natalia Grossman in the top spot. Hannah Moyle second, keeping the pressure on. And Sheon So with the bronze medal position. So let's have a look at this next boulder. And Dan, I mean, <laughs> It's a tricky one to read this. This is the chimney move. The, 
<laughs> but I'm not sure why it's called finger power. <laughs> Maybe we will find out soon. But yes, the big thing standing out here is these two opposing yellow sections of volumes. And in order to get through that, the athlete is going to have to push against both sides, creating a bridge while keeping their body weight into the corner. And then you can see the top is not close. So it's going to be a little bit of a scary one to get up there. So Natalia Grossman needs to do this quickly. Up she comes into the heel. Straight into the triangular volume. I think it's two attempts now. So even less time out into the zone. Left pressing against the wall. Pushing upwards. Brings the right foot back. Heel pressed into it. There's that right foot drilled in now. Natalia battling. Similar position to Saki just now. Now the right foot's on the screw on. Left out to the side pull. She takes a moment to rest in the non-rest. <laughs> Here we go, everyone. If you're cheering at home, I hope you're screaming at the screen because this is a big moment. Up she goes, holds it. And this, if she can match, will be a gold medal. And she can. Natalia Grossman, was it ever really in doubt, takes her fifth of the season. She knows it. So let's have a look at those final results. Natalia Grossman takes the win with four tops, just beating Hannah Moyle, who takes her second silver medal of the season. And Miho Nanaka, sixth to bronze. Fantastic end to our comp. And what a way to finish the boulder season. When he's out of the way, we're doing another medal ceremony. So the overall.